It is so easy to share a file in Google Drive. You just select a file from the list, uh, specify the recipient's email address and that file is instantly shared with the person. The only problem is that when you share a file, that file is shared forever. So let's say if you have a business contract with a third party vendor and you share some documents with them, uh, even if your business contract with that vendor has ended, the files will still be accessible to them. So you have to go to Google Drive and manually revoke access to the files else they will always have access to your shared documents. So for these situations, wouldn't it be nice if you could share links temporarily in Google Drive? So for instance, if you are sharing a document with another party, you could just uh, set an expiry date of say 10 days and after 10 days those shared links will automatically stop working. So how do you do that? That's very simple. Uh, go to labnol.org slash expire and authorize the app to access your Google Drive. This is an open source Google script that will let you share any file in your Google Drive but with an expiry date. Once you have authorized the app, click the green button to open the file picker and you will now be able to select any file or folder in your Google Drive that you want to share. After you are done selecting the file, go to the next step where you need to specify the email addresses of people who should have read or write access on these files. Then go to the next step where you need to specify after how many hours, days or weeks those shared links should expire. Now click the submit button to set the auto expiry date and the script will automatically revoke access to the files when this time has passed. So when you go to the web app, you will see a list of all files that are shared with an auto expiry date. In case you want to remove any file from the queue, just hit that little cancel link. And you can click open drive again to set the expiry date for another file or folder in your Google Drive. You should also check my Google add-on drive auditor. It will help you know who all have access to your Google Drive. You can find the add-on at labnol.org audit. Thanks.